Hello and welcome to the next tutorial about PrePalmix. This time I will show you how to perform a static analysis of a bimetallic strip under thermal load. Let's create a new model first. I will select 2D plane stress uh, model space and default unit system. And now I will import the geometry. And this is the, the geometry in step format. Uh, as you can see, those are just two uh, layers, uh, flat layers, because th th that's uh, plane stress. Uh, I designed them in FreeCAD uh, using just two sketches and uh, the uh, typical tool uh, make face from wise that I always use to create mm, two dimensional geometries for uh, pre pomex analysis. Uh, and uh, basically, mm, you will see that this will be a uh, two layer beam, a cantilever beam, because we'll fix this end and it will be subjected to temperature change and, change and uh, this way it will bend. Uh, so that's uh, that's how this uh, will work um, and now let's uh, define meshing parameters for both parts and I will specify the maximum element size of one millimeter and now I can also uh, create the mesh for those two layers. Uh, let's hide the mesh and now I will define material properties and sections and so on. So mm, when it comes to materials, we will have two materials because I mentioned that this is a two layer beam. Uh, the first layer will be made of copper. Uh, and I will specify uh, elastic properties, uh, so Young's modulus and uh, then also uh, Poisson's ratio, uh, which will be uh, 0 0.34, and also thermal expansion for copper, uh, which, is all, uh, which is defined uh, using the uh, following uh, value. Uh, and the reference temperature mm, or zero temperature, uh, it's uh, 20 degrees Celsius, uh, like the default value. Uh, so mm, those are the, the properties for uh, the copper layer. Uh, now I can also click uh, add new uh, to create another material. This will be steel uh, and again I'll specify elastic properties, uh, standard Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio uh, for steel uh, and also thermal expansion. Mm, in this case uh, that's the value that we need and also the same uh, reference or uh, zero temperature. Uh, let's confirm this and now I'll create two sections. Mm, the first section will be named copper and it will be assigned to uh, the uh, top layer of the b of this uh, beam or mm, beam metallic strip because mm, the, the, the f top layer is made of copper and uh, I will change the thickness to uh, 20 millimeters. You can also take a look at this uh, sheet where I have analytical calculations and you can see and that we have the layers marked here and also uh, the thickness defined in this uh, in 20 millimeters. Uh, so that, that's the thickness for the top layer. Mm, to I will assign copper to it. And now I'll crea create another section. It will be named steel. Of course, I will change the material to steel. Again, I will uh, specify the thickness and uh, assign this to the to bottom uh, part of the uh, beam. So now we have uh, two sections, we can also check, um, use color annotations to check uh, or either sections or materials to make sure that we have copper uh, in th this top layer and the, the bottom one is made of steel. So this is uh, like we mm, expected. And now uh, let's uh, proceed to uh, step setup. Uh, so I'll define a new step. Instead of using temperature displacement step like we did before, we'll use uh, just a regular static step. Uh, and we'll define uh, the temperature load using defined fields uh, feature. Uh, so we don't need the actual thermal analysis, we won't, account, we won't be uh, calculating the heat transfer. It will just apl apply mm, temperature, final temperature, and uh, this uh, thermal expansion coefficient will be used to calculate the deformation. And uh, we don't have to perform the actual heat transfer calculation, so that's just a, a static step. Uh, so let's define boundary condition, and this will be uh, fixed end. Uh, we'll fix this and right here, so I'll select those uh, two degrees of freedom. And uh, now I also have to mm, apply the defi defined field, uh, temperature field uh, 80 degrees Celsius to uh, both layers. Uh, and I also should specify initial conditions, uh, 20 degrees Celsius to both layers. And one more thing, because we have to connect the two layers uh, to make it work, otherwise they would expand uh, independently. Uh, so we have to uh, apply tie constraint, uh, I'll search using the automatic tool. Mm, this uh, this constraint is not the one that you're looking for. We need edge to edge constraint and this is the, the one that you want. So I will confirm this and now we also have the uh, tie constraint defined. Uh, so uh, let's check again. We have uh, tie constraint connecting both layers. 
uh, we have uh, initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. We have defined temperature of 80 degrees, uh, so the temperature difference is 60 degrees in this case. And we have uh, fixed end on the left, uh, so uh, we have all the uh, settings that we need for this analysis uh, to be performed. All right, mm, so I will uh, submit the analysis now and we will check the results. The results are already available, so let's check them. And now I will compare the deflection. You can see that, that the beam uh, subjected to temperature change bends. And this is what the, the effect that you want to see uh, for this bimetallic strip. Uh, and now we are interested in the value of this um, deflection. So let's go um, to the sheet where I have the analytical calculation. And uh, before uh, we proceed to, to comparison, I will just want to tell you one thing because Mm, in, in I would just want to show you uh, two uh, possible alternatives to SMAF Studio software. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, SMAF may sometimes have uh, issues with units when temperature is involved. So instead of uh, trying to, mm, to find some workarounds and bypass those issues, it's sometimes might be better to uh, use uh, different software, especially when the calculations are not so mm, complex. Uh, so I will show you the uh, first one is Maxima. And this, uh, this is actually a graphical interface for Maxima uh, Solver. Uh, it's free and open source, and you can see the calculations here, and they are equivalent to uh, what I have in uh, SMAF. And one more software mm, is called CalcPad. Uh, it's also mm, free and open source. Uh, and when you compare this, it's, it's some, somewhat between um, Maxima and SMAF because uh, it supports units, unlike Maxima. Uh, the input is similar to Maxima because you have to input everything uh, like this uh, using individual lines, not uh, in this natural way like in SMAF. Uh, but uh, in output, you get uh, this nice form of formulas displayed like uh, in this natural way. So. Uh, so this is mm, also interesting here, and um, d we don't have any issues with, with temperature units. I haven't noticed them here, so mm, you can see that we get nice result. Uh, in, in it's the same, of course, it's the same value uh, that we obtained in Maxima and uh, SMAF. Uh, all right, mm, so now let's go back to, to Prepomex and the comparison uh, of, of the results with analytical values. So we can see uh, that the deflection according to and the analytical cal calculation uh, should be around 0 0.34 uh, millimeters and in Prepomex you can see that the deflection is uh, somewhat higher. Uh, but um, uh, we can get better accuracy if we do one, uh, let's say, trick. Uh, if we go to section definitions and change this thickness from, from the actual value to one millimeter, so we uh, specify unit thickness for both sections and submit the analysis again. Uh, now uh, we will see uh, that the deflection is uh, much closer to uh, what we expect uh, for when we check the analytical uh, solution. Let's go back to this again. Uh, you can see that we are uh, much closer to mm, the analytical solution. Uh, well, mm, that's, that's in this particular case, um, the, the analytical solution uh, involves some assumptions. And uh, to get closer to those assumptions and, and to mm, use the uh, plain stress model, uh, we have to uh, do this little trick with um, thickness uh, of the uh, section. Uh, so that's how we can get um, the, the solution closer to uh, prediction of this analytical uh, calculation. Uh, all right, mm, that's it for this Prepomex tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, as always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.